An old lady and an old man lived in a little house by themselves. They had no children, and they felt very lonely and sad at times. It gets so boring with just the two of us. You are always out in the garden, and I have nothing to do after I finish my cooking and cleaning. Well, I'm sure you can find some other ways to keep yourself occupied. Hmm, I think I will bake something today. I haven't done that in a long time. That's a good idea. Go ahead and do that. Make something interesting for dinner tonight. Now I have to head out to the garden again, as there are still some more weeds to be pulled out. The old lady decided she would make some gingerbread. She got out all of the ingredients she needed, and kneaded the dough for the gingerbread. Softly humming to herself, suddenly she had an idea. Let me do something fun. I will make the gingerbread in the shape of a man, a gingerbread man. My husband will be very amused, I'm sure. So the old lady rolled out the dough and cut it out in the shape of a man. Let me see now. One little ball to be shaped into a mouth. Two little chocolate chips for eyes, and these pretty red cherries for buttons. Oh, that's one handsome gingerbread man. I'm sure he'll taste as good as he looks. Now into the oven. The old lady went and sat on her rocking chair, knitting away while waiting for the gingerbread man to bake. starting to get the lovely smell of gingerbread. Must be done by now. Let me go and check. The old lady put on her oven gloves and went to open the oven door. But as she did, the gingerbread man got up from the baking tray and jumped out of the oven. Good heavens, what was that? Before she realized what was happening, the gingerbread man ran to the open window, jumped out, and in a second was running down the garden and out into the street. Hey! Hey! Where do you think you're going? Come right back here! We are supposed to be having you for dinner! Oh no no, I am not your dinner for you can't lay your hands on me. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The old lady's husband looked in surprise at his wife running after a gingerbread man. What's happening? Stop staring and run and catch that rogue. I had baked him for our dinner. But how did he run out? I will tell you all that later. Quick, catch him before he vanishes. The old man starts running after the gingerbread man, shouting at him to stop. The old lady cannot catch me, and neither can you. Down the road ran the gingerbread man, with the old man and the lady running behind him. A cow sitting beside the road saw the gingerbread man and said, You look so tasty. I want to eat you. <laughs> Old lady and old man cannot catch me. See if you can catch me, you fat thing. Fat thing, you cheeky fellow. Just you wait till I catch you. The cow started running after the gingerbread man along with the old man and the old lady. Along the road they ran, with all the passerbys looking at them in surprise. A little way ahead, a horse that was trotting along the road stopped to see what was happening. That sure looks like a tasty meal. Everyone out of my way. I'm going to catch that fellow and have him for dinner instead of hay. Oh, so you also want to eat me. Come on, you can also try. But you'll have to start galloping instead of trotting. <laughs> so the horse also joined the old lady, old man, and the cow to try and catch the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man was having a lot of fun seeing all of them trying to catch him. A little way ahead was a big fat pig walking along with its piglets. 
And when it saw the gingerbread man, it said, That guy sure smells good. Should be a good treat for my little piggies. Wait, wait. I want to have a word with you. No, you don't. You want to make a meal of me. And that is not going to happen, you stinking thing. What? How dare you, you rude fellow. I will show you. Come on, piggies. Let's catch him and eat him. Up ahead there was a farm, and near the fence was a big brown hen. When she saw the gingerbread man, she said, You look so yummy. May I have a nibble? May I have a nibble? No, you may not. But you can always try. Come, join the merry procession. <laughs> oh, what a sight it was. There was the old man and the old lady trundling along, the cow and the pig waddling along, the horse galloping along, and the hen running and flapping her wings with a loud sound. I think I've had enough fun. No way are those slow coaches going to catch up with me. So I'll just look around for some place to rest. A little farther away, there was a river flowing gently. The gingerbread man wanted to go across to the other side, but if he fell in the water, he would become all soggy. As he was thinking of what to do, he heard a voice. Want me to take you across? The gingerbread man looked around and saw a fox sitting against a rock. The fox was a very, very wily fellow. He knew the gingerbread man could run very fast, and he was too lazy to run after him. Then why would you want to be so good to me? I am not being good to you. I was going to cross the river anyway, so I thought you could hop on my back and I would take you across. Uh... Decide fast. I don't have the whole day. Okay. What would you want in exchange? I'll tell you that when we cross over. Come on, on my back. When they were halfway across, the fox told the gingerbread man, I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable. I think it would be better if you perch yourself on my neck. The gingerbread man crawled onto the fox's neck. Ah, that's better. After a while, the fox started moving its neck and told him, Ooh, my neck has started paining. I think it would be better if you sit on my snout. The gingerbread man thought he was very smart, but he couldn't guess what was going on in the cunning fox's mind. As before, it did what the fox told him to. There. Are you okay now? This was the chance the fox had been waiting for. As soon as the gingerbread man sat on its snout, the fox quickly tossed him up and caught him in his mouth as he fell. Burp. Ha! Thought he was smarter than me. 